This is Coronation Starscream from the Red Series, and this is my Your Body Pillow from Anime Dakimakuru Pillow. A very high quality Your Body Pillow from Anime Dakimakuru Pillow. Have you figured out this is a sponsored segment yet? Anime Dakimakuru Pillow has the largest anime pillow collection with exceptional quality. But don't just take my word for it, take Joe Biden's word for it. Well, Mecha Z, as you can see, the body pillows from Anime Dakima Crew Pillow have incredible print quality. That's right, yeah, and I was just blown away by the fabric they used, which is imported from Osaka. Weebs know that's in Japan. That's right, Mecha Z, and the products have great durability and a hidden zipper. So you don't lose immersion of your fantasies. Correct, my friend, because we all know what you're going to do with it. What the hell are you talking about? You can get body pillows of all your favorite waifus and other products as well, such as keyboard mats, rugs, and even... Uh, Ooh, I gotta get me some of those. Use code ADPZ to get 10% off your order. I promise I won't know what items you get. The government will know, however. So check out Anime Dakima... What's it called? So check out Anime Dakima Crew Pillow today and follow them on social media where they'll be doing weekly giveaways. And don't forget to use that code. Thank you, Joe, and now back to the video. I still live with my parents. I do like the box art for the figure. I'm in love with this image of Starscream. A bit too much. You can see more of it on the side. It does look really cool. Coronation Starscream from the G1 Transformers movie. If that that wasn't obvious. On the side, you have all the extra accessories the figure comes with. On the back, just some more product artwork. Now let's open him up. I really like this schematic artwork they got going. But let's take a look at the main figure now. Here is the figure and it's... Uh, not my favorite. I do have a bit of a controversial take on this figure. First of all, the figure is kind of loose, similar to the laws that affect politicians. It's also definitely a much different plastic from what we're used to with other figures. And these wings are very flexible, which isn't a bad thing. Now let's quickly move on to the accessories so I can add them to the figure. He comes with a nice cloth cape, which I do prefer over the Studio Series version. Two shoulder pads, and it looks like this one's already bent. Great. Great quality control from Hasbro. His crown, two extra hand pieces, and two really nice looking effect pieces. Man, this jacket it was a bad idea. First, we can attach the shoulder pads and the cape. It is a bit easier if you take the wings off first, because it can be kind of tricky to do. I'm ashamed to admit at how long it took me. The cape doesn't really look too great from the back, unfortunately, but we can now attach these. And here is Coronation Starscream. Now, right off the bat, let's take a good close look at the figure. By the way, stick around to the end because I'm going to be doing a comparison with the Studio Series figure, and we're going to see which accessories are cross-compatible, because you'd be surprised. It looks like there's a lot of paint spillage on the head sculpt for mine. That's really unfortunate. I'm also not a big fan of the head sculpt. It looks a bit too wide. Now my major gripe with this figure is that while it is G1 accurate, it's also kind of not. And that's due to the stylization of the figure. It's definitely a lot more rounded than the G1 show. But let's take a closer look at the figure now. He does have those vents at the side and those vents up here. I do kind of like the cocky smile he has going on. It is very Starscream. The design of the face isn't also too bad. It's very simplistic, reminiscent of G1. There is some nice paintwork going on the vents. Down over to the chest piece, you have a nice silver over there. Some really impressively sculpted fans. The window on the cock piece has a nice gold paint to it, and it is removable. And you can see some extra detail inside the figure. And this is made of a more flexible plastic as well. And even though I don't like the design of the figure, the sculpt work on it isn't too bad. It is definitely on the more basic side of things. Which I mean is how it should be. The shoulder pads do have a nice sculpt to them though. And if you lift that up, you can see some of the panel working underneath it. The rest of the arms are fairly basic with a tiny bit of panel working. The hands do look fairly nice. Down over to the legs, there's not really a whole lot going on in that section. This section has the classic Starscream look. And here's a closer look at the rest of the legs. These jet pieces are nicely done though. The sculpt and paintwork is really good. I don't fully understand the choice of having these marks. To be fair, I don't understand most things, but they are supposed to be there. And even though it is show accurate, it can make it kind of hard to get the figure to stand sometimes. Of course, it's gonna work properly when I show it on camera. Here's a quick look at the back, which does have a nice sculpt to it. Probably should have shown this off before I put on the cape. The paint job for the red on this figure is done really well. I do feel like they could have made it a bit more vibrant because these blues are really in your face. Here's a look at the classic Star Starscream Nullaroids, and they look pretty much just like every other Nullaroids out there. I do like how it's kind of singed at the end, but I feel like maybe that's a bit too much. They also fall off easier than my sanity from watching anime. Why the fuck did I buy a Joe Biden figure? Also, let me know if you want to see these two. Here's a look at his wings, which are definitely a different color from the rest of the figure because it is a different type of material. There's some nice lines going on, and the upside down Decepticon symbol, which is accurate to the show. He also has those nice stripes going through, which I feel like would be better if they were more vibrant. Quick look at the back, there is quite a bit going on here, and you basically just have a great and a darker gray. Now due to the stylization of this figure and the material it's made out of, I really don't feel like it's made for collectors. This definitely feels more like a children's product. I mean most Transformer figures are anyways. Now for articulation, the head can move up and down like that. You do get a full 360 head rotation. Very minor movement there. The arms can move up and since the wings are able to move backwards, you are able to get a full 360 rotation which is nice. Rotation at the biceps, a really nice double hinge joint for the elbows. The arms do have a backwards bend as well. The hands can move in and out and you 
can easily rotate them. The wings can fold back. 360 waist rotation. You can give him an ab crunch, which is easier to do if you take this off. And then you can give him a nice crunch. Leg can move out and it is on a ball joint. There is a rotation there. Double hinge joint for the knees. There's a hinge joint on the feet as well as a pivot. And this can also move. Now I'm not gonna complain about the lack of transformation for this figure. Well, maybe a little bit. While this figure cannot transform, which is what this line is going for and that's perfectly okay, the articulation doesn't really make up for it. Posing this figure isn't very fun because the legs can be kind of flimsy. And with the shoulder pads and null rays, Positioning his arms can be a bit difficult. On top of that, there's no port for a stand, so there's no chance of any aerial poses. Attaching the effect pieces is pretty basic, and that's how you do that. And then for the hands, pop them out and place in the other hand. And the sculpt work on this hand is also really nice, I will give it that. And I've also realized throughout this entire video, I forgot to put on the crown. There you go. And there is a full look of Coronation Starscream. This crown looks like dog shit. Now here he is next to Studio Series Starscream. And yeah, they do look very different. As you can see, the head sculpts are incredibly different. This one obviously has a lot more detail. It is basically just Earthrise Starscream. There's more paintwork on the shoulder pads. The null rays are attached to them as well. And if you want to compare the null rays, there's a look at that. I definitely think this one is much better. In terms of which figure is more accurate to the movie, I'm definitely going to go with this one. Despite the stylization they went for, the color of the reds are different, but kind of similar. Definitely more noticeable on the purple shoulder pads and the blues throughout this figure. These sculpts on the legs are also very different. This one has a hard cape that can fold out, and I much prefer the cloth cape the red series has. This one also doesn't have the nose cone at the back that this one does because this is a non-transforming figure so it doesn't need that. And the crown fell off. In fact, if you want a comparison of the crowns, you can see the mold is entirely different and I much prefer the Studio Series one. Now let's take a look and see what accessories are cross compatible. Let me just strip them down real quick. <laughs> The crown won't fit because it is a different head sculpt. Null rays are a no-go. The shoulder pads do go on, but it does look kind of bulky. And you can still get the cape on there. You can put the cape on the Studio Series shoulder pad as well. And I really like how that looks. The effect pieces are compatible. Now for this guy, there's no place for Coronation Starscream's null rays to peg into. The crown surprisingly holds in place. The shoulder pads do not fit. And there's no place for that cape to go on either. He fits on the throne very well though. Overall, this Starscream isn't my cup of tea. But some people might like it and that's okay. Now check out my last video where I, ah, uh, fuck, I don't even remember what it was, but there'll be footage of it right here on screen.